Donc voilà, on est au Comic Con de Londres. Donc c'est pas le Comic Con de Paris, quoi. C'est le Comic Con où les gens parlent anglais. Mais pas aux états unis le Comic Con où on parle anglais, mais avec l'accent un petit peu british, un petit peu aristocrat. John and I am joined by Jeff. <laughs> Here's what it says in the script. <laughs> oh, to the final boss fight. Hour of Power is proudly sponsored by Martin Madrazo's Cheesy Bastards. That was five seconds of work well spent, I thought. <laughs> that comes from a joke we did in GTA so many years ago. Um, and for some reason, we decided Martin Madrazo, who is an NPC you bump into early on in the online mode, came from Yorkshire <laughs> and sold and sold cheesy bastards. But yeah, th those have been really, really fun. The reason I do that, it's not video games podcasting either. Because some people go, oh, do you guys just talk about video games? No, because that would be bloody boring for an hour and a half. Like, you can go to places that do that, like IGN, you know. There's people who will talk about games in a way more interesting way than I ever could. But what I like to do is I like to get inside people's heads and talk to these guests. So for instance, Jenny B, who is one of the creators who's sitting watching as well, she has also been on and we got to ask, I basically what I like to do is I like to top and tail each of these podcasts with a silly questionnaire, throw out, I don't know, have any of you guys, give us a cheer if you've ever heard of Inside the Actors Studio. Yeah! Some people, for those of you who don't know, it's like a little show in America, a little show in America, listen to me, it's a show in America where they've got this guy called James Lipton, and he asks the same 10 or 12 questions to all of his famous acts every time, and it's beyond the whole remit of, why did you get into YouTube? What turns you... Uh, nothing like that. It's all things like, so, what turns you on creatively, spiritually, and emotionally? That's a, you know, that's a lot heavier landing than, so why do you like Pokemon? One of the weird things we tried to do first is, James is quite an arty chap, and uh, he likes to doodle and draw, and he basically taped sheets of A4 paper with subscribe to Luke and James Play on my car um, as I drove up and down the motorway. That was like early, early on, and then we got stickers made for my car, like on Vista print, um, with the really, really old uh, channel logo and stuff, which I just sort of made up. Uh, but we kind of got stuck on 80 subs for a really long time. And I remember that because it was 80 for like six months. And we just carried on plowing on. No, we didn't. We weren't there for numbers anyway. We just wanted to have fun. Um, and we came to our first Comic-Con, and we went from 80 to 200. Which is a big jump. It's like it's like 200% increase or whatever. And we, you know, met Ed, uh, which gave us a lot of confidence because Ed was really supportive of us, and that actually helped boost us. So meeting other creators was what really sort of helped us out because um, you know you can refine your formula, if you will. So uh, we did. I think what's tried paid advertising. <laughs> yes, we got a lot of, uh, it got only shown in Russia, and uh, obviously we have no Russian subscribers here, sadly. <laughs> My favourite horror game is a game called Outlast. Terrifying game, I highly recommend it. And I was so frustrated that I bought it from my friends, like, please play this game, I want to know what you think about this. None of them played it. So I went to YouTube, I went searching, typed in the name Outlast, 
top result, a guy called Markiplier. And I watched him, and I loved it. I didn't, it wasn't so much to him I loved, but I loved that it had a face cam. I could not only see what he was doing, his reactions, I could see his body language as well. There was this connection, it was transcending just the game. And I thought, that's so freaking cool. I think I can do that as well. Being in a band, being good, well, having gone through college and learned, like, audio design and stuff like that, I, I was already kind of tech savvy. I kind of knew what I needed to do to make this happen. So I did it, I jumped in. YouTube is free to start up, doesn't cost you a penny, apart from buying the games. So what is that to lose? Hello, and welcome back to MCM Comic Con. I grabbed Ed from his seat, which is, which is very hard to do because I like one, to sit. one, he's, one, one, what's my thing? One, he's never there, never a stable. Two, he's a very busy man, even when he's on holiday. And three, uh, he's tired. Yeah. No. Good, let's, let's go with that. It was uh, something. Good, good reason. Good reason, sure. So, Ed, what do you think of Comic Con this year? Comic Con this year has been, it's been a very different experience, but it's been great. I've really, really loved seeing everyone. I've loved hearing various messages from them, including yourself and Maritime Maddie. Like, that was a massive moment for me, so that was huge. That was really exciting. We've had highs, we've had lows already, and we're only a day and a half in. So, it's probably been the best one so far. So, and also, the first time having Spammels here, like that, that to me has been super fun. And we've just finished the panels, they went okay. It's basically the rest of the weekend's now a bit less pressure because we don't have to worry about performing or anything, it's just about having fun with everyone, so I'm happy. How about you? Are you enjoying yourself? Well, <laughs> getting back to frame again. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm shit with that. Uh, yeah, oh, good idea. We'll lean slightly, it'll be alright. Uh, what about myself? Well, to be honest, this is very strange because I'm used to seeing it as the public. Sure, but now you're here as an exhibitor. Yeah, I'm trying to get the public in, which is very hard to do. I, I haven't got your talent for, for showmanship. Uh, yes, you do. I watched your panel yesterday. You absolutely smashed it. Yeah, as you said, I still think I was shit, but. <laughs> like, honestly, like, came up to me the day before going ahead. I haven't prepared anything, and I'm really nervous. I've not done this thing, and I went, dude, I've never prepared for any of these. You are fine, you just gotta go up there with confidence, know that you're gonna talk about what you do, what you wanna do, where you wanna be, how you got there. He absolutely smashed both of you guys. It was hilarious, it was natural, it was confident. I adored it, so did everyone. So well done. Thank you. Well, that was Reeves. Uh <laughs> One thing that is important and that I mentioned once in the thank you video that I did uh, on my birthday is that Ed is... Yeah, we can see you creeps in the, in the background. Basically, Ed is like an Obi-Wan Kenobi for me uh, in terms of... I'm the, the, the Luke Skywalker of this Obi-Wan Kenobi. Nice! Uh, I hope you. I hope you should listen to your Darth Vader. Otherwise, that means Game Boy has limited days. That is very to true. Live. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. He's the Obi Wan Kenobi for this Luke Skywalker here, uh, as he kind of completely pushed the channel to become something, and the channel has been struggling to keep the rhythm. But every day I watch your videos, I, I, I watch your live stream. It's, it's, it's a true inspiration. It's. Uh, I see the goal. I see what I must become at the end. The quality, even say if it's mediocre, it's quality mediocre. Quality video. Yeah, it's it's, it's mediocre plus plus. Mediocre plus. Okay. Oh, double plus. Double plus. Yeah. Plus plus. Deluxe. Plus ultra. Um, as you are entertaining, you are natural. Uh, you are funny, of course. Uh, but as part of character, I mean, I could be not funny into YouTube. And. Uh, <laughs> But you're also uh, genuine, you, you, you really care for the community, and that's, that's, that's what I learned from uh, watching your, your childhood past. Two years! Yeah, two years. Two years. God, I aged badly. <laughs> and yeah, coming to Comic Con was something I wanted to do, especially like just to be able to go see Ed, take him by the shoulder and say, thank you, Manny. Without you, I wouldn't have that set of boots back into London. And as I said to John, the first day I came here, it's it's so so good to breathe the air uh, of London again because um, I associated England with friendship, with YouTube, and with you guys. And 
We were talking during the panels uh, of community and how important people can become for the community. I can say that Ed has become very important to me, like a brother of sorts, as the, the older brother you want to become, but you never will. Uh, you, you could easily achieve what Game Org has achieved in no time. But the current effort you guys put in and the content you guys put in, it's a matter of time. Yeah. Well, Sammy, it's been a pleasure getting to know you over the last couple of years and watching your content grow from like Les Outsiders or The Outsiders to now, yeah, RIP, now to Geek Worlds. It's, it's been really great seeing your content grow and seeing you grow and obviously our friendships grow over this time. So it's been really exciting getting to know you and it's been lovely having you here as a creator for the first time back in the UK. Like I said, being able to breathe that British air once again. And I'm glad you've had such a good time and I hope you've got to feel the sense of community and love that we always feel. Week, um, this time. And as I said to, to Spamble's countless times, Queen Creeps countless times, everyone countless times, uh, I hope you will one day have the money and the time to come down to Paris and say hello so, so we can do a family, maybe something together in the same it. room. Just That'd imagine, be just be two of that. One day, one France, day. France, a kind of cross channel yeah. where that will happen yeah. in both ways the English channel and YouTube channels. YouTube, well, YouTube internet has no borders. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's, why, true. that's why we can do that. Yeah, that is thing. true. Yeah, you're right. Whereas then, when it starts to get into you know legal boundaries, it's slightly harder. Yeah, I'm but I look forward to it. Yeah. I look forward to the day we can finally collab in person. Oh, it's going to be great. Well, maybe. Uh, until we see tomorrow, you again tomorrow for the final goodbye, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, it's already uh, halfway through now. There's only one day left. Yeah. Uh, I don't want it to be over. Like, I was really tired all day, but like, I love it so much. Now I already feel depressed that it's going to be over. It's, yeah, I'm going to take that because my other arm is tiring. Uh, it's interesting to see that it's difficult. Every day you wake up at like six or seven, then you want to just go back to sleep. Immediately, but all day it's constant fun, it's yeah. constant energy, and then in the evening it's constant as well. There's no downtime or uptime really, so it's, it's just non-stop. And you kind of almost don't get a chance to be tired, which is great, and kind of bad at the same time, but you know, I hope you I hope It's, it's, it's a good a feeling to be tired. It's, it is it's the It's not like the, uh, I haven't done, uh, I haven't done shit all day. Uh, tired. It's the tired of. Well, it's been horrible. It's been hell. I've only sold one drawing. I've made ten pounds today. That's I good. still have to go for a uh, thousand and three. Uh, <laughs> hell, Comic Con. Uh, Thanks, thanks for that, guys. Thank, thanks for that. Uh, but, but I got to see some friends. I got to have some fun, and and, that's and isn't that priceless? That's what we're doing. So, Kaboom, come here. Hello. So on that, this is very uncomfortable. So I'm just going to say goodbye. Okay, great. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Z's.